What would you do if you only had 24 hours to live? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A youth pastor in Saskatchewan, Canada asked his youth group, what would you do if your doctor told you that you only had 24 hours to live? The students talked about being with friends and family and the discussion seemed headed in the right direction. But then Jason, a 13-year-old student said, I'd get a second opinion. In today's gospel reading, Jesus is asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God will come. Jesus replies, the kingdom of God is among you. We all look for external signs to give us an indication if the world is about to end. We desire to know when our own judgment day will come. Many of us are overcome with fear of death for it can be as uncertain and as unknown as the final judgment day. So we reflect on this question. Can we cram in the next 24 hours all that we need to do to prepare ourselves to exit this world? We can hurry to the most expensive restaurants and shops to spend all the money we have. We can eat all we want, stay up late all we want, party all we can, but are we preparing all we must to meet our Creator? Or we can take care of unfinished business with family, mending relationships, spending time, Yes, precious time with them that we have ignored and taken for granted all these years. We can seek out friends and enemies, give forgiveness for those who have hurt us much, and ask for forgiveness from those whom we have hurt. Do charitable work perhaps, go to hospitals to give cheer to the sick, take to the streets to give food and clothing to the homeless. We can head to orphanages to help care for the children and distribute toys and food. In all these, the Lord is telling us that this is what He means when He says that His kingdom is here among us. He is among us in our relationships, in people, in the acts of love that we do for them. Indeed, we just need to listen for us to see. Be still and know that I am God, He says in Psalm 46.10. When we are able to sit still, be quiet and listen to God speak into our hearts, the kingdom of God is here. To be able to understand is to see. His kingdom has come. His will is being done on earth as we aspire for heaven. That is our prayer to our Father in heaven. We need not bargain with the Lord. A second opinion is useless. With confidence, without fear, with peace and joy, we can meet our Lord anytime, all the time. Psalm 57, 7 summarizes it beautifully. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. And I will sing. Yes, I will sing praise. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, keep my heart pounding for you and make me always ready to meet you. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.